Whoa, whoa, whoa! Shocking news coming out of iSeriously's Twitter. We got some leaks here. iSeriously with the double gifts, Goku and Vegeta. So, ladies and gentlemen, the seven year anniversary part two LRs are set to be Saiyan Saga. That is awesome. That is awesome and totally not what a lot of us had expected. So let's talk about this for a little bit. If you guys don't know, we are set to get the video premiere for the JP Part 2 LRs later on tonight. Actually, technically tomorrow. By the time you're watching this, it should, it might already be by the time it's tomorrow. But in any case, we're going to be getting a video premiere very soon as of me posting this video. And that is when we're supposed to find out when these LRs are supposed to be revealed. However, thanks to these leaks, we now know that it's going to be in the Saiyan Saga. Now, to what extent? We don't know. Obviously, this destroys the theory of Broly and Omega Shenron because people, myself included, kind of thought it was going to be that. Like, if we look at the five-year anniversary, we have Gogeta Blue, Vegito Blue. Who were the Part 2 LRs? Their opponents, right? So, it would have made a lot of sense to have the enemies of Goku and Vegeta sort of take shape in the Part 2 LRs. However, it looks like what they're doing is kind of leaning more into the Goku and Vegeta element. They want to keep this apparently more focused on Goku and Vegeta, which is why they showed us one iteration of their union when they're working together as Gogeta. And then part two is presumably going to be some sort of Goku versus Vegeta dynamic, which is fine, right? We haven't had this before. We haven't had a marquee Saiyan Saga unit in a celebration like this. We've had LR Nappa Vegeta. We've, of course, had the free-to-play LR Goku from the version Z update. We have had other Saiyan Saga type units, but never an actual category for Saiyan Saga. Could we potentially see that as a new category? I doubt it. That will probably wait for its own Dokkan Festival. Maybe perhaps that could be something for Saiyan Day. But for right now, we do know that it's going to be something relating to these two units or these two characters as the Part 2 LRs. What could that entail? We have a couple clues already that we could go through. So let's look back to the previous LRs, also stemming back to the Year 4 anniversary. For year four, Super Saiyan 4, Goku and Vegeta were obviously the part one leads. And then for part two, we had Baby Vegeta, and then we had Goku, GT, Pan, and Trunks as the other LR. So one interesting pattern that I was reminded of by one of you guys in the comments was that every single year, we have had a joint forces LR be one of the LRs in part two. So year four, the GT trio. Year five, Broly, Chi, Lai, Lemo. Year six... I guess you could call both of them, uh, the Frieza and the Android 17, both of them were joint forces. So there has been some sort of a joint forces representation every single year for that Part 2 LR. So if we take that clue, and if this pattern were to hold serve in this anniversary, what could we see for a joint forces LR between these two units? If we're looking at the, the extreme side for, uh, I was going to say Iron Man, stupid trending. Uh, if we look at the Vegeta side, could it potentially be another Vegeta Nappa? Could it maybe be Vegeta Nappa Raditz? Highly doubtful. It's probably going to be something on the Super side with Goku. Maybe Goku Gohan, Goku Gohan Krillin, maybe Yajirobe is in there. Who knows? Maybe it's going to be something like that. I would not be surprised if they gave us a Goku Yajirobe combination, which just utterly butchers this unit's categories. I would not be surprised because that is one of the weaknesses with this Broly. This Broly has a really interesting and one of the most creative passives in the entire game. But the problem with the unit is that it's just a disaster when it comes to categories. And links too. I mean, look at this. Movie bosses, join forces, bond of friendship. Nothing, basically. And then the links are just all over the place. So that is the primary reason why I never get to use this guy. Sometimes when I see the animations on this unit, I'm still feeling like it's a brand new thing. Because I just never get to see it. So I would not be surprised if they did something like that to poor Goku over here. Which, in my opinion, wouldn't be the worst thing in the world because Goku has so many good units already. Let's have Vegeta rule things for a change. So, join forces will probably go on the Goku's front. And then, in terms of category leads, this is where I'm going to leave this video. Don't want to go on for too long. Let's speculate a couple category leads. Just based on these images, I feel like a great category lead for Goku is going to be All Out Struggle, right? Because he's fighting for his life. And Vegeta is seething. <laughs> so, if we have All Out Struggle for Goku... Maybe we have the Vegeta be the Exploding Rage. And a couple of uh, units have had... Actually, not a couple. The Android 17 and the Golden Frieza from last year had two category leads. So if we were to introduce a second lead for these two LRs, and then assuming, I don't know, maybe if they include maybe an add-on category like they did for the Part 
one LRs maybe, you know, it could be something like that. So for the sake of argument, I'm going to throw in a second category for both these units. So I'm going to say Goku will lead All Out Struggle and Kamehameha. And then for Vegeta, it's going to be Exploding Rage and Rage and Space Traveling Warriors. Exploding Rage for obvious reasons. Space Traveling Warriors because it was a pretty prominent scene, you know, sequence in the anime and the manga when he's approaching Earth. And then also when he's leaving. So he enters via space. He exits via space. So I think that would be an interesting lead for this Vegeta. Plus, you know, if we go back to the same Goku Vegeta's family category, it's just kind of bland. So that is pretty much it for my speculation. Of course, we will have the official reveal later on tonight. I will be doing a live stream on the channel. It's going to be happening at 3 a.m. in Los Angeles, which is 8 p.m. Japan on the 15th. So that's going to be 3 a.m. for me. So, if you guys are also Global Doke Hunters, I'm going to be summoning for the LR Gohan first. I'll probably end that stream and then jump on later on to do this live reaction. And I probably will be on there with a couple of friends. So, if you guys want to check out these units with me and react with me, then feel free to subscribe and click that notification bell. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments. What is your potential build for these two LRs? Could they be Join Forces? Could they lead certain categories that I didn't mention? Let me know your overall theories on these units so far in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future. And click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned. And always remember to dokon responsibly.